If you're an avid home cook, you've likely tried your hand at many different dishes, with varying degrees of success. Sure, some dishes might be more successful than others, but there's usually one in every kitchen that just doesn't quite come out right. If you're trying to cook something new and the results just aren't turning out the way you intended them to, consider the possibility that you're not using the right ingredients. Brown Rice There are two kinds of brown rice, short grain and long grain. Brown rice is considered healthier than white because it's higher in fiber, magnesium, selenium, and other nutrients. In general, brown rice has a softer texture and a more earthy flavor than white rice. The better option for fried rice? Long grain brown rice. Its grains will hold their shape and stay tender after cooking while short grain varieties will fall apart into mush. If you're having trouble finding it at your local grocery store, try looking at health food stores or Asian markets instead. Veggies. It's essential to include plenty of veggies in your fried rice. Any of these will do broccoli, carrots, and snow peas. Chances are you already have one or two stashed away in your freezer for just such an occasion. Now is their time to shine, so get them into your work ASAP. Chop up as much as you think you need to fill out that bowl and then set aside whatever doesn't fit. Save it for tomorrow. This way, when you start cooking, everything is ready to go at once. If there's a veggie that doesn't freeze well, like lettuce, leave it out until right before serving it won't take long to heat through. Eggs Fried rice is typically made with scrambled eggs and vegetables. Don't skimp on these because they're what gives your fried rice that fried taste. Some recipes include cheese, but be sure to only add it at the end to avoid spoiling your fried rice before you have a chance to serve it. If you are looking for more flavor, try adding some soy sauce or salt. 4 cups cooked white rice or other grain. Half cup peas, frozen or fresh. Two to three tablespoons olive oil. Salt and pepper to taste. Soy sauce. If you are wondering what to put in fried rice, don't forget soy sauce. This condiment adds an authentic touch of Chinese flavor. Use a tablespoon per cup of uncooked rice, adding it at either cooking or eating time. Soy sauce can be salty, so adding it with other ingredients will help control your intake. You can also look for reduced sodium or salt-free varieties if you have high blood pressure or health issues like diabetes that require a low-salt diet. Adding soy sauce to your recipe is a good way to get more sodium into your diet without overdoing it. Keep in mind that too much sodium can increase your risk of developing high blood pressure and heart disease, so moderation is key when seasoning with soy sauce. Also, avoid brands containing monosodium glutamate (MSG), which is linked to headaches and nausea. Peanuts The main reason people love Chinese food is that it's often deep-fried. But if you're watching your fat intake, fried rice isn't going to work out so well for you. Instead, look for a box of dry roasted peanuts at your grocery store and sprinkle a handful over your fried rice. This will give it a nice crunch while cutting down on calories and saturated fat. Be sure to measure, you don't want too many nuts. They are calorie bombs. For example, just one ounce of peanuts contains 185 calories, 13 grams of fat, 7 grams saturated, 2 grams of fiber and 7 grams of protein. Most Americans need about 50 to 70 grams of protein per day, but we tend to get way more than we need. Cashews. These crunchy nuts are used to add flavor and texture to classic Asian dishes. When added to fried rice, cashews give you a similar experience as pine nuts and pesto, adding a satisfying bite with every spoonful. If you are looking for a way to make your fried rice stand out from the crowd, try tossing in some cashews. They'll help you create an exotic dish that's sure to impress your guests. Shrimp, optional, but good. High in protein and very low in calories, a few plump shrimp provide an excellent source of lean, healthy protein. Steam them for a minute or two before adding to your dish, otherwise, they may become rubbery. For extra flavor, 
Season lightly with salt and pepper. Bonus, shrimp is also rich in calcium. Just be sure not to overcook. Scallops, optional, but good. This ingredient is often missing from fried rice recipes. But it's worth picking up a bag of scallops from your local grocery store or fish market and tossing them into your next fried rice dish. Scallops make for an incredible flavor addition, and when cooked properly, they're tender and not chewy at all. Additionally, these healthy ingredients are low in calories, just 100 per serving, but high in protein and omega-3 fatty acids. This is an incredibly important step. Many people think they can toss a few ingredients into a pan and voila, magic will happen. But you are going to taste that dish before it gets served up, so make sure everything is there and tastes good. Thank you for watching.